Sometimes when we talk about firearms, it's the little things that are overlooked. And the importance in details is, can make the difference between you winning or losing in a, in a lethal force encounter. Simple things like loading a pistol, all right? If you ask a pilot, a pilot has a pre-flight checklist. And no matter how many thousands of hours that pilot has, I guarantee you they go through that checklist step by step. You should develop your own with firearms. When I load, I load in a very specific procedure. And I do so to eliminate any possible malfunctions happening to this pistol that will be caused by me before I go and holster up and go out into the world. And I would stress that you follow either these instructions or develop something similar and follow those stages. The first thing before I do my initial load is I lock the slide to the rear, all right? I do this so I can inspect the chamber, make sure there's not a round already that's accidentally stuck in there. A lot of times we keep these in our uh, sock drawers, right? Maybe there's some lint or something that will impede the first round from going in. Once I've inspected that chamber, make sure it's free and clear of any debris, I'll go ahead and insert my magazine firmly, securely, and on the initial load, I give it a little tug. Make sure it is locked in there. The next thing I will do is I will send the slide forward, either using the slide release or overhand grip, all right? Now, I'm pretty sure that a round went in the chamber, but I don't need to bet my life on it. I wanna visually confirm. I'm gonna go ahead and do a press check. Press check, yes, there is a round in there. Make sure the slide is forward. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind, too, when you're dealing with extremely small guns. This is the Ruger LCP-2. It's very, very short. You want to make sure you don't accidentally or negligently put your hand in front of the muzzle. If you notice, every manipulation that I'm doing with the pistol, I'm coming from behind the gun. When I do my press check, I come from behind the gun. Once it's loaded and you've checked everything that I've stated, that way you know it's in fact in battery, in fact loaded, and the magazine is in fact locked in there, well, the next thing to do is just go ahead and shoot it. So those are my tips, my steps, my pre-flight checklist, if you will, for loading a pistol on your initial load. We're not talking about reloads, we're talking about initial load or initial check before you leave the house, before you go on duty. Make sure you do it the same way every time. That will prevent you from having any accidents, creating any negligence, and making any mistakes.